So it's time to say goodbye to Coben Young. It's officially over my my internship here in Sunrise Resort, and got everything in my bags. Bam! Ten minutes early. I call this a success. Like, got my tortuga backpack and my little parts. Now eventually, eventually I'm gonna get down to just my tortuga carry-on size, not overstuffed like it is now, because it's, it's a good thing I'm not taking a plane. But I'm excited. Going to Koh Tao for a week where I'm going to do a, um, fingers crossed, an open water diving course with Rocktopus, the diving like place. So that's exciting. And um, yeah, at least it's not like going to be a really long day, just like a two hour ferry ride. So nothing terrible. See you guys in Koh Tao. can't tell the difference because it's still just like this pretty island. Kobajang to Koh Tao, just a short ferry ride. It's like 480 baht. And I made it to Rocktopus, which I will show you guys later. That place where I'm doing my open water diving course. I'm excited, terrified. Um, anyway, let's go check out the beach here. number two in Koh Tao and I could not ask for more gorgeous weather. If I thought taxis were expensive in Copenhagen, taxis here are like 400 baht. Not per person, per taxi I think. So it's kind of about the same but in Copenhagen you can get the taxi by yourself for like a hundred. So really starting to wish I knew how to ride a bike. <laughs> Orange, carrot, and ginger shake, freshly squeezed for about three dollars. So, of the three islands in the Saratani area, Kopengam, Kosmui, Koh Tao, they say that Koh Tao is the least touristy and still like the most island-like island. So, it's gonna be similar, but different. Same, same, but different. and I was supposed to go diving tomorrow but there's been a slight change in plan because you see that leg now it has 12 stitches in it um, because I decided to try to learn how to drive a bike you know three months in Copenhagen never drove it two days here and well unfortunately I can't go diving for a week um, but now is a good time to introduce you to Steve let the record show that I was trying to teach her to drive a bike in a safe, responsible fashion in a nice, empty parking lot with a single retaining wall that she did manage to find. Yes, the one, yeah. the one wall. But I didn't hit a pickup. You did not hit the pickup. That is good. That would have cost a lot more. Yeah. Okay. We'll figure out. We'll figure out something else to do. Something besides the ocean and diving in Koh Tao. Good morning. So. I'm um, uh, my day two, I guess technically, with my leg. Did some stuff last night. Um, we went and played poker, but I didn't record it because that's actually very legal in Thailand, and I didn't want that on camera in case somebody saw it. So, shh, I won't tell you who was there, and I didn't actually gamble, so. Can't, 
catch me now. Anyway, um, pain level. When I'm not moving, no pain at all. Um, when I walk right now, it's like, I think it's like a five or a six or something. So, I'm gonna go try to find somewhere to do something because I'm tired of being in this room. And I hear drums, which makes me think that there's a parade somewhere. So maybe there's a parade. I don't know. But let's just do some more exploring. spent most of the day attempting to work but not wanting to so I think I'm gonna go drown my sorrows in some cheesecake <laughs> so this place is quickly becoming one of my favorite cafes in Koh Tao it's called New Heaven Cafe it's really loud right now but usually it's really quiet and it's big I ate lunch here yesterday, I had a veggie burger. Fantastic. Um, they didn't have cheesecake, but I got something else good. If this doesn't drown away sorrows. That doesn't drown away sorrows, I don't know what will. At the end of every diving course, they have a video from the last two dives that, like, that you did, and they play it at a, a local bar down here. And you can see it if you like it. Of course, you can buy it. I was hoping to show you guys my video, but since I don't get to go diving, um, next best thing, I'm going to show you Steve's. Uh, Steve is the guy that I've been staying with this week. who's super awesome, and so I'll show you bits of that. And we're headed over that way now. and see exactly what happened to my leg. But for those of you who don't, maybe um, fast forward like 30 seconds or so. So I'll show you the one, this one has four here. It's actually not that bruised. I'm really surprised. I thought that it would, um, it would be more bruised than that. And then the other one is the one I got two stitches on the inside of my leg and eight stitches on the outside of my leg. It's right there. Got a nice little scar happening right here as well. Also not that bruised. Weird. It bruised really easily, so that's very, very odd. But um, it never really hurt that bad. So that's exciting. I think like the most it hurt was on from what scale of one to ten, maybe a six, and that was like the very first day. So and I've been walking on it, I just can't swim. I I ran out of the, the, the medical tape that you use that's really nice to your skin and doesn't hurt that bad when you take it off. So instead, now I have to use duct tape. <laughs> At least it's pretty duct tape. <laughs> I don't think it'll hurt too bad when I take it off. Okay, so here I am. Last day in Koh Tao. Last 
stay at the beach, which due to antibiotics, I have to enjoy in the shade. But I found this really nice tree to sit on, so that's that's good, I guess. Um, I don't know if I really did Koh Tao justice. I'm gonna have to come back for sure and do that scuba diving like I wanted to. Um, but all in all, it's a really nice island, super chill. Um, not as much parties as Copenhagen, but if that's what you came for, then you came to the wrong island. If you came for scuba diving and chilling, you came to the right one. <laughs>